I would say for most people, looking at your ticket operations is probably the best place to look because, you know, most managed services companies manage the, the help desk is what takes up the most time in terms of labor. So it's usually the place where we've got the most opportunity for generating some efficiency in what we're doing. So I would start there. I would start with looking at number one, you know, how much you're bouncing employees around. So that's kind of a big deal that I see a lot where, you know, you have a technician and they wear a whole bunch of hats. So they do help desk and they do professional services and maybe they do some other roles in the company. That is a big uh, efficiency issue that I see a lot. So I would definitely start there. And then, you know, look at how tickets are handled, how efficient you are about handling those tickets and moving that through the process. A lot of people do a dispatch model where you've got a dispatcher, which is usually a higher paid individual, and they're kind of dishing out tickets. That's usually not the most efficient way to go unless you're very small. So moving to a model where your technicians are grabbing tickets on their own and your manager is kind of handling exceptions rather than having to handle every ticket, I think is a, is a good place as well. And then, uh, you know, kind of once you, use, once you look at help desk, professional services, I think is probably the, the second place to look and just the efficiency of how well your technicians are utilized. So how much of their time is billable versus non-billable? You know, that's usually the biggest deal is, is trying to come up with ways to get that uh, utilization higher. And then, you know, how efficient are they in terms of what you're quoting versus what you're billing? So if you're billing every hour, it's not a big deal. But if you're quoting fixed-priced projects and so forth and you're going over time, you know, that's always an issue. Thank <laughs> you.